the bluster BS blowhard that Donald Trump truly is, is in full bloom in this breaking story. And he might just tear the one muscle he may have in his body trying to do the backstroke in terms of things he's promised and said. And I'm going to tell you about that breaking story in just a few seconds. But this is a man we have to remember who does nothing but say, believe me, believe me, believe me all the time. I promise it's going to happen. Piece of cake. No worries. And yet in this breaking story, ooh, when he's actually put on the spot to be responsible for what he's promised he can do, weird how he suddenly isn't so brazen. And leading into that breaking story, let's just take a little moment and look at some of the things regarding tariffs and the stock market that might be an issue. We will end inflation, groceries, cars. Prices will come down. You just watch. They'll come down and they'll come down fast. As tough tariff talks continue. Where does this relationship, supposedly one of the best friendships and allyships in the world, stand at this point? The latest in this saga of this strained relationship uh, are comments coming from Elon Musk. We heard from Elon Musk uh, yesterday on social media platform X uh, that he believes uh, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, Trudeau is an insufferable tool. I think you guys you guys put it really well. There's, there's two questions here. One is what would be the impact of these tariffs if they were implemented? And then second, what's the probability that these tariffs are going to go forward? The markets are able to look through this expecting that maybe in a kind of a broad-based sense there's not going to be you know quite as severe tariff put on, especially Canada and Mexico as, as the announcement. Where all the talk is about Trump's tough talk on tariffs in Taiwan. Beijing is bracing for a new dawn in China-US ties. Wary about the second coming of an emboldened President Donald Trump. And I'm doing the same thing with China. We're going to tariff the hell out of them. Eye-watering tariffs of 60% on all Chinese imports to protect American manufacturing. The sovereignty over Taiwan is the red line of all the red lines. Remember, uh, two or three or four weeks ago, all of these economists, including the Nobel Prize economists, kept saying, oh my God, if Trump is elected, we're going to have a stock market crash. Remember that? I mean, they all said the market was going to crash, just like they said in 2016. And yesterday was basically the market investors saying, no, we think Trump's policies will be much, much better. Yeah, isn't that cute how Stephen Moore likes to say, look at the stock market. Folks, it's only jumped 2000 since the election. And if you look at Reagan's history, it's going to be on the way down. And yet there's more. President-elect Donald Trump is revealing more about his tariff plans. He said that he cannot guarantee American families won't pay more on the tariffs imposed. I can't guarantee anything. I can't guarantee tomorrow, end quote. And there is the premise to this breaking story. Oh, well, I'm sorry, Donald. Wait, where, where are all the promises and the guarantees? Are they maybe right here in this breaking story? I know we've, you've got a ton of things to do, but what can you say to the working person who owns stocks? Should they buy more stock? Well, I don't want to get into a situation where they do and we have a dip or something, because that can always happen. You know that better than anybody in the world, probably. I think you're the leading authority in going up and going down, and, but you always end up. You, he always ends up. That's the good news. But uh, we have, like, Doug Burgum standing right over here. He's done a fantastic job. He's been on your show many times, and uh, we, have, we have just tremendous people. I would say this. I think long term, this is going to be a country like no other. We had the three best years ever until COVID came in. And then we did a good job getting rid of it. The stock market, if you look at the markets, were higher than just previous to COVID coming in when we handed it over. And oh, 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 yeah. I can't, pr I can't promise tomorrow. I sure don't want to promise. Oh, that's all you do, Donald, is promise. You promise with one hand out while you're stealing America blind with the other hand behind your back. Folks, bear in mind, with regards to what Donald Trump talks about and all of the pundits, understand something. Look at this. Look at what he just said and also the history of where the stock market was when he left office and where it is today. Be crystal clear on this breaking news. Donald Trump lets the cat out of the bag on grocery prices, admits he probably won't be able to lower them despite claiming he would. If you fell for his MAGA promises, we got a bridge to sell you. In quotes.
If the prices of groceries don't come down, will your presidency be a failure? Trump was asked by Time magazine. Trump quoted back as, I don't think so. Look, they got them up. I'd like to bring them down, replied Trump. It's hard to bring things down once they're up. You know, it's very hard, but I think that they will. The truth, of course, is that the president has little direct control over grocery prices. President Biden managed to wrestle down inflation after COVID, but he couldn't wave a wand and lower prices. In other words, Trump constantly is a blustering blowhard of BS. Please note that the closing Dow Jones Industrial Average on January 21, 2021, when Trump's presidency ended, was 31,176. The Dow Jones Industrial Average one day prior to the election was 42,000. And everyone's jumping up and down about the fact that it's jumped to 44,000 since the election. Except, do remember, this entire administration and the policies hasn't even started yet. Like I said, folks, brace yourself, hold on, be smart, stay calm, talk to your friends, talk to people you don't agree with, but educate and share. And as always, stay frosty.